Hey guys, Greg Benz here with a quick demonstration of a creative way you can use the new difference masking functionality in Lamentia version 7. For this image, I want to blend multiple exposures to bring back full detail. So I've started with this ground exposure, which has great color in the trees, and the water looks great, but obviously the sky's blown out. I've already gone ahead and blended in a darker exposure using some of the techniques from both the YouTube videos I have on this channel as well as my exposure blending master course, but essentially I've created this luminosity mask in order to blend in the sky detail here. The part that's missing now, even though this is a great looking blend, is the foreground is not showing very much sunlight on it. This particular moment is right when the sun has hit the horizon and the rocks look a little bit flat. I do have a bright exposure from a moment before where the sun was fully above the horizon and the rocks look amazing, but there's some real problems with this image that make it tough to blend. That is, there's these flare bubbles shooting through the image, of course, but the flare extends all the way through the shadows in the image. If we look from before and after, you see just how much contrast and color is lost with this top layer. So it's a tough blend, and I just want to bring back the details that enhance these rocks. Well, we can do that with this new difference functionality. The way we'll do that is click on the two layers we want. So Command or Control click the second layer so these two are selected. Click on Difference, and we see here the left-hand side is the version we've always had for difference masking in Lamenzia where you can compare to neighboring pixels. On the right-hand side is the new functionality we're going to use here. So what we're looking to do is compare our highlights layer in areas where it is brighter than the ground layer beneath it. Clicking on compare layers, we get that preview. And I want to dial it in a bit by just pulling the slider down a hair to make this a little bit stronger in the foreground. And now what I want to do is use just this foreground area of the mask. So clicking L for a lasso, I can tell Lumenzia which part of this mask we want to use. I don't have to be too precise. Lumenzia is going to go ahead and feather this for us. But then go ahead and click on mask to apply it to our top brighter exposure. And you can see already it's done a tremendous job in bringing out that detail, but we do have this flare bubble coming through. So what I'm going to do is switch to my brush. And before I even do that, click on this top layer. Let's adjust the feathering. Lomenza gave it a 400 pixel feather. Let's bring it back to maybe a hundred or so. And look at that. The edges look good. We still have some flare though. So let's go and just use our black paint brush to sort of paint that out there. And that looks really nice from before and after. With just a quick adjustment there, we've been able to bring in the sunlight in this image without the loss of contrast in the midground and really enhance this image. And that's just one of the many new features in Lumenzia version 7. Please head over to gregbensphotography.com slash Lumenzia to learn more.